Great looking is the new Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. With the release of the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra, Samsung's smartwatch line is having a significant year. The business is releasing a whole new kind of smartwatch, and because of its eerily similar look to the Apple Watch Ultra, it is sure to cause controversy when it launches. But Samsung isn't stopping there with its 2018 smartwatch lineup. The Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 has also been revealed by Samsung with its Ultra wearable. The Galaxy Watch that most people will probably purchase is probably this one, even though it's not quite as ostentatious as its Ultra sister. Not only does it cost hundreds less than the Galaxy Watch Ultra, but it also has a more accessible look and many of the same new capabilities. The Galaxy Watch 7 is a wearable that appears good, but I don't feel at all attached to it. I got the opportunity to try and wear it before it was officially released. Allow me to clarify. There is no doubt that the Galaxy Watch 7 is a nice-looking smartwatch. It seems to be a really decent one, actually. A practically bezel-less display, two sizes, 40mm and 44mm, and a standard 20mm connection for watch bands are all part of the almost same design of the Galaxy Watch 6. When held in person, the fit and finish are superb, and it has the same level of polish as the Galaxy Watch 6. An important internal improvement is also present. The Galaxy Watch Ultra and the Galaxy Watch 7 are powered by the same processor. Exynos W1000, Samsung's new 3 nanometers chip. After the Galaxy Watch 6 of 5 nanometers CPU and 16 gigabytes of storage, this 2 gigabytes RAM and 32 gigabytes storage combination is a promising improvement. This year, you should also look at a few new health features. The most intriguing is called Energy Score, which utilizes on-device AI to evaluate a variety of health variables, such as your average sleep duration, daily activity level, heart rate, and more. To determine how prepared you are to face the day ahead. I'm really eager to employ this feature, which is conceptually very comparable to the Aura Ring's readiness score. Samsung Health collects a lot of data without providing a clear explanation for much of it, which is one of my primary issues. Energy score seems like a great approach to make meaningful use of that data. The second new addition is Wellness Tips. It gathers all of your Galaxy Watch's health data and attempts to do something useful with it, much like Energy Score. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said, let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.